Orbit Knights 14872. Today we'll talk about their amazing robot that can do the high chamber, the high basket, and even climb very, very fast. It's the fastest robot I've seen in this event, and even more on behind the box. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Judica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels now available in several different color options to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allow for positioning at multiple angles. Teams in the U.S., you can request a free sample, apply for team grants, and register for 25% off at studica.com slash robots. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first. Okay, so uh, I'm in design based on a, a moving elevator that on an arm, okay? We have our telescope here. It is our, our own custom telescope. It is made out of uh, 35 by 35 millimeters tubes uh, on uh, 25 by 25 and uh, 15 on 15. On each tube, there is a 3D print that makes bearing uh, that makes the slide really uh, smooth and uh, stable, and also bearing on the bottom of its stage. Uh, it is uh, wired by a continuous wiring coming from this dynamic rope uh, that goes from this uh, roller uh, that's powered by those handball wheels that spin around each other and connected to a 1,150 uh, 1, RPM motor. Uh, as you can see, it is a, me a mechanism known from two keyboards last year. The handball wheels uh, spin around each other. Uh, I'll move on to the arm. We have a new innovative mechanism that we didn't see first before. It's called a capstan mechanism. We basically have a lot of uh, stuff We have uh, two 117 uh, RPM motors that are connected uh, to one gear uh, with a 1 to 1 to 5 ratio. And they're uh, moving this one. Uh, this one, uh, it has a rope, uh, it has a thread like that, like a screw, and the rope, it goes through it in a, in a full cut, and then each side laps around uh, the water. And from each, uh, and then each side of it goes to the uh, higher roller. What happens is when the lower roller spins, it one side it uh, releases rope, one side it uh, it, it, it uh, gives less rope, and uh, it basically spins around. What, what's nice about it is that the rope can spin because it slaps uh, around the roller, uh, but uh, makes the uh, capstan principle. And so. We really like it because it's super stable, as you can see down, it's not moving. And it's also at almost no backlash if you stretch the rope uh, correctly. So yeah, that's our arm. And all, all this mechanism is built around this half inch uh, shaft uh, that you can see, but it's screwed to the sides of uh, our surface. Uh, we use uh, the original Go Builder Lifetime. We didn't see much progress with it, and uh, we didn't really have much time to change it, but it's really good. And uh, we have uh, 3D printer bumpers that uh, cover all of it. Uh, so I move to the intake. We use a dual uh, wheel intake with uh, flex, flex wheels that are powered by an axle micro servo with a 1 to 5 to 1 ratio that spins each, each wheel and they are on uh, moving arm, arms which uh, can have uh, like a rubber bearing here that uh, closes them, so it can open it close on its own. But also there is uh, another axle micro servo that has this kind of teeth that uh, pushes the arm, and on control, on command, we can open it to faster and uh, better drop on the basket, and also for a better intake. Yeah, so... Uh, we also have lots of uh, carbon fiber uh, covering. This one is actually called Flibber Chunk. It's a, a kind of uh, a carbon fiber that is cheaper. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And really like this overall uh, boxing. It looks very nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have like our custom uh, uh, blades here. And yeah, that's what I have to talk about the robot. In our software, the main algorithm is based on a final state machine. That means that it converts gamepad buttons into enum objects called 
robot state. Additionally, every system has its own enum that represents its own system state. The goal of this algorithm is the goal of this algorithm is to do all to, to go to one state using only one button. It means if like, for example if we press on A, it goes all all the system go in one time into like, let's say that. That helps us, helps us a lot with one driver because it's way better and better for so now I'll talk about our autonomous. For auto we use Roadrunner 1.0 and we have an autonomous of five specimens and another autonomous of four samples. So in our code we also used um, some uh, control. So in the control uh, we used PID on the motors of the telescope, the arm, um, and uh, that's all. Uh, we also used uh, motion magic like in the FRC. Uh, uh, the ocean uh, motion magic is uh, something we build. What it do? It does. It like uh, makes it the uh, 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 make makes the arm run smoothly with uh, like an um, with its acceleration and deacceleration in the uh, in the start and the end of the. Uh, run so it uh, runs smoothly and um, yeah we also use the feed forward uh, and uh, we use like uh, some parameters to overcome on um, on a f uh, physical forces like uh, gravitation like uh, friction and um, the elastic forces in the telescope. So uh, I forgot about it to mention earlier, but we also have uh, this mechanism which is outlined. It uh, attaches onto the uh, to the bar, and when we close the arm, it also opens up like that, so it uh, climbs on the center mass of the robot. So uh, we have intake mode, which with this joystick I can move uh, forward and backwards to intake correctly uh, in the submersible. We also we have. Uh, um, travel mode, which is where we move the, the, the state where we move the robot around in the field. Uh, also in intake mode, we have, uh, if we press again the button, I have vertical intake, so I can uh, intake from above, I can move also with the joystick. And after intake, we can go to uh, high basket mode. Okay, here I can also move the, uh, uh, the telescope, and if you can see above, when I press the print, it opens up the, uh, the claw like that. So travel mode again. And also we have high chamber mode and wall intake mode for a chamber. A nice button that we have is here that when I press it, you can see the LEDs are, uh, are uh, blinking. What it means is that uh, it changes the button that I have on my controller to different states. So now intake will be wall intake. And high basket will be low basket. And I chamber will be I chamber but from the back of the robot so we wanted have to spin. And so yeah, you can see also if you there's something nice that I'll click here. You can see here the capstan mechanism. When I uh, press it you can see the roller is moving and the rock moves around it. Uh, I did to mention also that uh, we have this uh, rubber band that counterweight the arm. And so yeah, we have around 14, 14 plus states for the robot just moved like, by this controller. Uh, I can I won't show you all because it's a lot, but uh, it's very cool how one diver can control all the robot and every some small subsystem. And uh, yeah. So another another thing we have on a robot is uh, like for the um, color period. So we have some driving enhancements. So one of them is the um, uh, intake override. So what you do is that the arm keeps its uh, this, uh, the same height that the driver uh, um, chooses, chooses with his jo uh, the joystick. So uh, you can show them. Uh, so as you can see, the, uh, as the telescope um, gets longer, the arm raises its, uh, its height, so it keeps on, on the same height. Um, the, 
intake is also changing its uh, uh, angle. You, it's uh, pretty hard to see it uh, right here, but uh, it actually changes it, uh, its angles, so it will always uh, be on the, sa the same uh, angle from uh, the, the floor. And yeah, it uh, helps us. Uh, and we achieve that with using trigonometric functions and linear inter interpretation. Nice, so we wish you the best of luck in the rest of the season, in the rest of the events, and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Zutica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels now available in several different color options to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allow for positioning at multiple angles. Teams in the U.S., you can request a free sample, apply for team grants, and register for 25% off at studica.com slash robots.